how to use Descript to do your video editing and to have really quick captions on your video files. This is exactly how I do all of the captions and subtitles on my social media content. So first of all, I actually batch film all of my videos for the month. Uh, so I've got a bunch here for the rest of January 2023. And basically what I'm gonna do is pull each of these over to Descript, which is a tool I absolutely love for getting really fast caption subtitles and editing your videos. You're gonna see how cool this is in a second. When you edit the text it automatically cuts and edits that part of the video out as well it's amazing so make sure you've grabbed yourself a, uh, an account on Descript I do have an affiliate link it'd be awesome if you use that thank you sarahcordiner.com forward slash Descript if you do sign up through my link it would be greatly appreciated uh, so what happens here is once you're logged in you will have a page called home and you'll have a button over here called new and we're going to add a new project so basically see each video is a new project I prefer to do it like that because it's easier to uh, to understand the videos I can't remember what video we're gonna work with first of all so I'm just gonna call this video one <laughs> and press create project and then the next thing you're gonna do is choose your file and import it over so I'm gonna pick the first one I can find over here and drag that one over. It will ask you what you want to, what language you want to transcript your thingy in, your video in, and press transcribe. And it really is very, very fast. You can pop your name in there if you want to, but I'm the only speaker. If you had multiple speakers, it would pull out all of their different names. I'll pause this just while this actually loads. And boom, that took about a minute. Um, so we've now got the full transcript in here. Now usually this is pretty good. I speak incredibly fast and it does tend to pick up my speech quite well considering how fast I speak. So the first thing I wanna do is I actually have a little bit of a break here um, before I start talking if I just show you this. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap just uh, while I was waiting for the video to come on. So I'm just gonna pull that down so that the video starts when I start talking. Now I'm just going to scroll through and see if there is anything in here um, that is spelt wrong or incorrect. Trust me, you need to think blah, blah, blah. They criticize you. That should be a comma, not a full stop. So you just literally edit this in exactly the same way you would edit some text. So I'm going to pause this while I just read through. Okay, so this here should be strange, not stranger. You double click on it, press E for edit, and just delete, uh, edit, though edit the text, press enter, um, and that will edit your word. If you actually delete the word, it will actually cut that part of the video out completely. So that's pretty cool. Now also the other thing I have in here is filler words, um, and we can actually get the system to remove those filler words. So you can double click on a filler word, press remove filler words, it will show you uh, which ones you might want to work you, with. Uh, I don't know. Let's delete that. Press apply. Okay. Just going to apply it to that one only. If you speak too fast, some version of speaking. Okay. So there I had a stumble. If we listen to where I stumble over here. I might want to cut that out. If you, I don't know, whatever it is, this, whatever it is that's weird about you. Okay, so I might, if I wanted to cut out that second bit there, if I press delete, that would literally cut the video there. And you can see here it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to listen to what I say. Whatever it is that's weird about you, it's unique. So I missed out a word, it's unique. So I need to highlight this, press edit, E for edit. It's unique. And then press correct and it should now pop that in. It's unique, it's amazing, it's your superpower. It's the one thing that makes you not a boring old shawl in the shape like. All right, a boring old shawl, what? Okay. Not a boring old Sean the Sheep, I said, so I'm just going to press edit. A boring old Sean the Sheep. All right, press enter. Sean the Sheep like everyone else. Like Sean everyone Sean. else. So I, it's because I speak a bit funny there. <laughs> like everyone else, press E for edit. Sheep, like everyone else, press correct. All right like everyone else trust me take the thing that other people don't use you just to tone that down a little bit and make it stand out even more because that my friend is exactly where your riches are going to be where your riches so all I'm going to do is just press E for edit 
are correct. All right, now, so that I say I've gone through all of this and I'm happy with all of the text that's in there, the next thing I'm going to want to do is actually add the subtitles over to the video. Um, one thing I will do is just check the end here. See, there's a little bit of space right there. And there's also a bit of space where between um, where I say where it's going to be and good luck. So there, if I put my little mouse, there's 3.2 seconds where I paused. I'm actually going to change that to zero and hit enter. And now it's cut it down so that we don't have those gaps and those breaks. How good is that? <laughs> so we, uh, we're going to make it nice and tight uh, for everything to uh, stay nice and close together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the text and I'm going to press add and we're going to add in fancy captions and they will pop up over here. So I'm going to pull mine up a tiny bit because when you're on TikTok there is actually a little bit of uh, some buttons and things here. So I do want my captions to be up a tiny bit higher. And basically over here you can change the colour of the background, the size of the text here. Um, you can change all the different, you know, the way that, that all these caption area looks. I just keep mine the same. I'm just going to press play. I don't know if anyone's ever called you a little bit weird, but did you know that your weirdness is probably your richness? What makes you weird is what makes you rich. Trust me, your uniqueness is the thing that most people point out as something that they criticize about you, tell you to tone down a bit, say to you, maybe you shouldn't be as much like that, it's a bit too much, right? If you've ever been okay, now by the way, this is a little bit jittery. That's actually won't show like that once the video's been processed. A, I'm recording on two different devices here <laughs> and I'm using the video editor and my internet absolutely sucks and this is a cloud-based app, right? So when you actually save this, it won't be delayed uh, like, like it's showing there. Now I do have two little black lines there. I can just pull this video out and extend it if I want to. I don't care, I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. And then all you're simply gonna do is press file, export. Oh, where are we gonna go? File, export, and it'll ask you where do you want to export it to. You can actually send it straight to your YouTube channel if you want. But I'm going to click on video and uh, quality high. You can actually give it a title here if you want to. So I'm going to change this to your weirdness is your richness. Okay, so that I've got the right title. And then I'm going to press export. It's coming out as an MP4 file, which is exactly what we want. Um, choose the location, and again, I'm just going to name this your weirdness is your richness, so I know what video it is. Oh, baby crying. Press save. Oh my lord, I have a baby having a tanty. And there you go. So aside from my epic background noise, I'm going to go and see what my poor little baby's doing. Um, that is how you edit using Descript, how you really quickly get amazing uh, accurate captions on there, and uh, how you can really do simple video editing by just editing text. It's an absolute game changer. I love this platform. So do go grab my affiliate link at sarahcordner.com forward slash Descript. That would be very, very helpful. And uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, DM me, and I'll be happy to help. See you soon.